We have a beauty proof right here. Hello, coin enthusiasts out there. It is I, Dax Collects. And today, we have another half dollar box hunt for you all. Here's half dollar box number 16 for the channel. Let's see what we can find inside of these rolls in this box. Here are the halves to look out for right here. And if you haven't seen my last half dollar box video, I'll put the card right up here for you. This may be a one box hunt. This may be a two box hunt. Not entirely sure at the moment. As time passes by, we'll see what happens. But for now, we have this box here. So let's go ahead and open this up. Check to see if there are any crazy enders in this box. Well, folks, take a look at this. We have a 1971 San Francisco Kennedy half dollar proof coin. Notice the field has that mirror finish. So we have a proof ender. But other than that, everything else on the top side is standard. So I'll go ahead and check the bottom side and I'll let you guys know if I find anything there. Well, folks, not only do we have one proof ender, we actually have two. On the bottom side of roll number five is a 1974 San Francisco proof half dollar. So we have two guaranteed proofs in this box. Maybe we'll find some more. Everything else in this box is just the regular Kennedy halves. Now, I have seen some folks in the YouTube space that have had a proof half dollar box where they find 10 plus proofs in a box. We'll have to see if we find many proofs in this box, but we'll have to go through the rules and see. So right here, I'll put how my half dollar box hunts are structured for each and every one of my videos. And as of right now, our current silver half dollar count for the year 2024 is at six. We are currently halfway done through the year, so we're a little behind on the goal. But we'll see if this box has some silver inside, so that way we get closer to that 2023 total count. All right. Let's go ahead and open these first five rolls together and see what we can find inside of these rolls. So with that being said, let's get right into it. All right, let's start with the first roll of the box. Check the weight. 226.5. So when I weigh these rolls, usually if they weigh 226.5, there's a likely chance that we find a silver, but not very likely, just likely. As the weight goes higher, it increases the chance. All right, and as you can see, we pretty much have a full roll of 2023 Philadelphias, which that'll happen. The only one that I see that's not new is this 1990 Denver but that's it everything else here all brand new halves all right so it's probably going to be a mixture of new rolls and old rolls as you can see rule number two has a 1980 Denver and that one looks like a 2023 Philadelphia Let's check the weight of this roll. Notice that it weighs 
way less than the last roll. So we have some old clad in here. Let's check it out. Just a few that are old clad. A lot of shiny 2023s though. Let's see what we got here. 72, 74, 71, 71. And then there's one here as well. That's old. We have a 1972 Denver. Again, tons of 2023 Philadelphias. So let's go ahead and open the next roll. This one is looking like a full roll of 2023s as well. All right, let's see. Actually not, but do we have a proof right here? Let's see. No, we don't. We have a 1981 Philadelphia. So there's a few more old halves. Looks like a 72 Denver. And a 1996. I don't see those very often. But it looks like there's a few more old clad. And then everything else is from 2023 Philadelphia. Let's see. 19, we got a bicentennial there. All right, nothing crazy in this roll. Let's open roll number four. Again, lots of 2023 Philadelphias. Let's see if we have a full roll here. Looks like we're not going to have a lot of variety checking in this hunt. Look at that. Let's take a look at the old ones. 1974. Nineteen seventy two. Looks like a nineteen seventy seven. Nineteen eighty five. and a bicentennial. The rest of these look like they're all 2023 Philadelphias. Now we're on the roll with the proof ender on the bottom side. Let's see what else we can find in this roll. 226.2. All right. We'll pull out the proof here right away which is gonna be right there. So here is the proof, Ender. This one is the 1974 San Francisco. Although it is a circulated proof, it's always nice to find one in a bankroll. So I'll keep every proof I find. Let's see what else is inside of this roll. So once again, we have a bunch of new coins. Got a bicentennial. Is this another proof? Doesn't look like it. 1981. Nineteen seventy-two D. Nineteen seventy-one D. And then a 1974. The rest of these, besides this one, 1978. The rest of these are new 2023s. So out of the five rolls we opened up, our only find of the hunt is the 1974 San Francisco proof. All right, I'll go ahead and open the rest of these rolls on my own. And whenever we have another find inside of a roll, 
I'll bring the camera back and I'll show you guys what role I'm currently on and what the find is. Let's go. We have a find inside of role number 14. This role had so many 2023s, but in between, we found this. Take a look. It's a bicentennial proof half dollar. Look at that. 1976 San Francisco. A really neat find. One I've never found before. Add it to the collection. Now we have two proofs. Let's see what else we can find inside of these rolls. Five rolls later, inside of roll number 19. And looks like we found proof half dollar number three. See how thick the edge is compared to the one above it and the ones below it? Usually proofs have a very thick edge. So when I pull it out, there it is. We have a beauty proof right here. Got some cameo. It is a 1987 San Francisco proof half dollar. What a stunner this coin is right here. I got to be very careful not to touch the field of the coin. That's number three. Still have plenty of rolls to go. Let's see what else we can find in these next 31 rolls. Oh boy, this box is heating up. Inside of the very next roll, roll number 20, we have another proof right here. This is proof half dollar number four. I already took a look at it. Let me show you guys. We have a 1979 San Francisco proof right here. Take a look at that. Now, there are two different varieties of the 1979 proof. You have the type one and the type two. To tell if you have a type one or a type two, you got to look at the mint mark. Notice that the S here is really small. This one is a type one. I'll show you guys the differences between the two. Here they are. You have the type one, which is what we have. Look at the type two. Notice that it's a little more defined. They call it a clear S. And they call this a filled S. So we have a filled S, which is the common type of the two. This one is more scarce to find. All right, we are back on pace to finding 10 proofs in this box since we have found four proof halves in 20 rolls. We know we have one coming very soon. Let's see if there's anything in between the rolls. Two rolls later, inside of roll number 22, we have our first NIFC of the box. It is a 2002 Philadelphia. I already have this for the book, so this will most likely go back to the bank. Next roll, roll number 23. And we made it to the roll with the proof ender amidst all of these new 2023 Philadelphias. There's only about three or four old clad, but right on top of the roll is the proof. And it is the 1971 San Francisco proof half dollar. 
Number five of the box. Let's see what else is out there. Another four rolls into the box. We have another find inside of roll number 27. Looks like we found another proof half dollar right here. And it is from the year 1972 this time. Minted in San Francisco. Number six of the box. I am still on roll number 27. We found another proof half dollar. This one is from the year 1977. San Francisco. This is number seven of the box. And the proofs just keep on showing up in these rolls. Inside of the very next roll, we just found proof half dollar number eight. Here it is. Wow, this is a crazy box. We have a 1985 San Francisco right here. Very nice. Eight rolls later, inside of roll number 36. This one I did not see beforehand, but it looks like we have another proof. This is number nine of the box. Let's take a look at this together. There it is, baby. Beautiful. This time it's a 1983 San Francisco proof half dollar. Excellent. Just one more to reach 10 proofs in the box. We are just about done with this box. Inside of roll number 47, we did not find our 10th proof coin. We actually found our second NIFC of the box. And this is something you don't see every day. We have a 1987 Philadelphia right here. We've already found the 1987 Philadelphia and Denver for the number two collection book. Still fun to find. A 1987 in circulation, even though it wasn't intended for it. All right, we have three more rolls to find. One more proof. Can we find it? Well, we did it, guys. Two rolls later, inside of roll number 49, we just found our 10th. Proof half dollar right here. Take a look. There is that mirror like finish on the field. And we have a 1981 San Francisco proof half dollar. Absolutely incredible. And to finish the box off, inside of roll number 50, one more proof, half dollar, number 11. This one is from the year 1980, San Francisco. What an insane box this was. All right, let's start the full box recap. Forgot to mention about this 1981 earlier, but remember when I said the 1979 had a type one and a type two? Well, this half dollar also has a type one and a type two. So once again, we take a look at the mint mark of the half dollar. We have a type two 1981 half dollar. And let's take a look at the red book here. So notice type one and type two. 
type two goes for $30 in a proof 65. We definitely don't have a proof 65, but still that's crazy. All right, let's start the full box recap. Just finished half dollar box number 16. Let's go ahead and do a full box recap right now. Here are all the finds of the box. We found six proof half dollars here from the 1970s, five proof half dollars here from the 1980s, and two NIFCs, a 1987 Philadelphia and a 2002 Philadelphia. An outstanding half dollar box right here. Some of these proofs still look really nice after all these years. Obviously, most of them are pretty well circulated, so their value isn't going to be crazy high. But I keep every proof as novelties. So I will always remember the time when I opened this box of halves and found tons of proofs. It's a great story to tell someday, that's for sure. We don't have any collection books to fill proofs in, but maybe we'll have to make it a thing seeing all of these proofs right here. But in the meantime, I will put each and every one of these proof half dollars in a coin holder. While we're at it, let's check the half dollars collection book number two book and see if we have any upgrades. All right, here it is. Kennedy Half Dollars Collection Book Number Two Between the Years 1986 to 2003. Everything's filled here. So let's check for those upgrades. This one has a pretty good chance of upgrading. Let's check it out. Oh, absolutely. We do have an upgrade for this collection book. And let's check out the 2002 Philadelphia. I do see that the one we found has a ring of death right over here. So this is not an upgrade. So let's go ahead and plug in this 1987 Philadelphia into the collection book. And there we go. So now, after going through half dollar box number 16, this is what the Kennedy half dollars collection book number two looks like right now. Happy with the upgrade. Now let's go ahead and close this book. And we'll send this 1987 Philadelphia back to the bank. Let's go ahead and put all these proof half dollars inside of coin holders. I'll be right back once I am done. All right. And it's done. They're all put into their coin holders. Absolutely gorgeous coins right here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one box half dollar hunt. We'll just conclude the video right here. So if you guys like this video, I appreciate it. Consider liking and subscribing if you really enjoy coin roll hunting content. Currently on a never ending journey to find some very cool coins out there in circulation. Just like these proof half dollars you see right here. Let me know down in the comments what you have found in your latest half dollar box hunts. Did you find any silver lately? Any proofs? Let me know. And let me know if you have any graded half dollars as well. I would love to hear what you guys have in your collection. We didn't find any silver. So we're still sitting at six for the year. We will continue our grind to find more silver half dollars out there in circulation. And now 
it is time to sign off. So thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Dax Collects, and I'll catch you guys on the flip. Good luck hunting, everyone, and have a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. If you want to check out another video, click on the bottom left corner. See you guys next time.